Alrighty guys, if you tuned in last week, you know we got our engine back from the machine shop. We got it washed and ready to build. And uh, now we're on to building the actual motor. This week's episode is based on cleanup and rebuilding the heads. At the bad gas shop, we typically rebuild those first before assembling the actual motor. That way they're ready to just drop on when you get to that part. Hey, before I leave you with Sully to take over and show you the rest of this process, let me thank you for watching and supporting this channel. We love doing this and we absolutely love documenting it and showing it to you, but your views, your comments, your likes, and your shares are what drive the channel to grow. So thank you very much for that. Super appreciated and please smash the like button below. Give us a big thumbs up and uh, share with your friends and give us all kinds of comments. We absolutely love interacting with you. Thanks so much. Also tune in next week where the motor will actually be built and painted and all the bling parts will go on. We're super excited. It's gonna be absolutely epic. Magnesium valve spin compressor. The valves down, take out the keepers. Save them for a rainy day because you're going to need them. Sometimes you got to lift the valve up a little bit. Show you. There's an intake valve. Little carbony, not too too bad. And there's an exhaust valve. Again, yeah. It's definitely a 150k motor, but they will clean up nicely. bad gas, it's always a little shop of horrors. Uh, this is actually the head off the fiber. We're starting to uh, lap in some valves here. Got the valve grinding compound on, white grease in the cylinders, everything's all set up. Trying to make stuff happen. I hope. and imperfections and this will grind that smooth so you have a complete seal when the valve closes. That's what we shoot for, good compression.
haven't been done yet. You can see all the little pits and imperfections. All that's going to let, uh, let the compression go by. And that's one after it's been done. See the uniform seat? Also, the seat in the head will be the same, so that should be good. Get them all cleaned up. That one back to the other head. Open down the way, it's nice and smooth. That's where the face of that valve will come contact the seat. Oops, right, contact the seat. Get it all cleaned up here. On to the other head. All right, guys, we're back in the shop. Heard the mess. I've got like a billion things going on at once, and I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. These are our new goodies. BTR valve springs. These are the dual spring setup. Nice destructions. There's our pretty new dual spring. The inner and outer. Pretty happy with those. Also, it comes with new keepers. New seats. Valve seals, which are good. And our retainer. Pretty awesome. Now, let's put everything back in. I've already uh, cleaned everything out. You see all our new uh, freshly done seats there. Everything's all cleaned out. Uh, just gonna put a little bit of white grease on the, on the valves. Pop them all back in where they go lay it out and uh, get ready to put it together. So let's get at it. The valves are all clean and marked as well. In case you're okay guys, sorry about that. This is the head down, the valves are all in now. Uh, again, a little white grease on the shaft just so we don't have a dry startup. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of oil, put it around the base. Don't want anything. This is a, obviously an aluminum cylinder head. These are steel spring locators that are going to go in each spot. Obviously, uh, when the motors run, there'll be oil all through here. But again, anytime during startup, I don't want anything, anything bad in there. No, no chances for failure. So up in our locators. Spring seats, which are actually considerably thicker than the stock ones. Complete kit, it's designed to all work together, so pretty happy with that. Okay. Next our valve seal. Again, there's white grease on here, so. Nothing's going on dry. Do you ever see a car that's uh, starting up or fires up and there's a big puff of blue coming out the back? These little seals are usually why. Usually when the car sits, the seals get old, the rubber gets hard, and oil will drift down through there into the exhaust port and it just takes a tiny tiny little bit and uh, makes a big puff. Alrighty. That's pretty pretty. Peace. 
for a high performance tool. I can't remember how to open the box. There we go. Guys, I'm on to number two. It took me a little while to get number one done because it was a bit of a pain in the butt. obviously go to the pinpoint down the lock ring in there if you can see that I'm not sure if you can or not locks on the top of the valve they're seated and they don't go flying off. And that's it guys. ETI dual springs installed. We do rock and roll. I'm just going to hit number two. All right folks we're going to wrap the video here for the week. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode of Bad Gas Productions please share it with your friends and family. By all means throw some comments below for us to read and uh, give us the big thumbs up. Peace.